Hi, I'm Jianjun Zhu from Intel. Today's topic is deploying machine learning in Watson to CPU, GPU, and MPU with the new WASM WinML backend. So we'll firstly introduce WASM and the Windows machine learning, the WinML backend, as well as how this backend is implemented. So you can add your own backend if you want to. Then choose a target device. CPU, GPU, or MPU. At last, we will briefly go through an image classification example about how to use WASM WinML backend to perform inference on different devices. WASM is WebAssembly system interface for neural network. It defines a set of machine learning inference APIs for WASM applications. With these APIs, WASM application just needed to call a few simple APIs to load a model feed the input data. Then the WASM runtime will choose a backend to run the inference and return the result. For WASM time, OpenVINO was the first backend implemented. But in the past year, more backends were added as well, includes the Onyx runtime, UML, and the newly added PyTorch backend. WASM is also supported by other WASM runtimes, like WASM Edge, that supports even more backends than the WASM time. This is a simplified workflow for WASM inference. Depends on your use case, it could be much more complicated than this. For example, you may need to prepare your data before setting it as an input tensor. To start an inference, firstly, you need to load a model. Depends on the format of the model you have, the WASM runtime selects a backend for you. Then feed the input with set input API. After setting all input tensors, call compute to compute the inference. It may take a few seconds or even a few minutes to complete. Then you will be able to get the result by get output. Kindly note that WASM is currently in phase two, so these APIs might be changed in the future. Also, WASM APIs are defined in both WIT language and the historical WITX version. WinML stands for Windows Machine Learning. It's a built-in component for Windows 10, 1809, and later, which means you can use it without installing any third-party dependencies. It's also supported by Windows Server with desktop experience enabled. If you want to, if you want your application to support an older ver Windows version or Windows Server without desktop experience, that's okay but a standalone WinML package needs to be installed. WinML only supports Onyx models. So if you want to use a Win, what's it, uh, WinML backend, your model should be in Onyx format. One of the execution provider for WinML is DirectML. So it also supports Direct12 compatible devices like a GPU and a MPU. At this time, MPU support is limited but we are working hard to improve MPU support. This slide basically introduced how we implemented the WinML backend. If you want to add a new backend for some time, it would be quite simple and straightforward. Firstly, let's understand the basic workflow of WinML inference. Then we can map these steps to WASM APIs. Firstly, Choose a device for inference. For CPU, it's simple. But for GPU and the TPU defined in WASM, there is no one one mapping from WASM API to WinML API. So in the WinML backend, we emulate all the DirectX devices and check if it supports graphics or it's a computer only device. If it supports graphics, we consider it as a GPU. If it's a computer only device, we consider it as a NPU or a TPU. For the rest of the steps, it can be easily mapped. So we just call the corresponding WinML API in WinRCN WinML backend implementation. Since WASM time is written in Rust, we also introduced the Windows RS crate for calling Windows APIs with Rust.
although WASM provides a simple API for you to select the target device, it may not be as easy as just changing the value to choose a different device in practice. The reason is different devices may support different data types and different sets of operators. Before running a model on a new device, please check your hardware's supported data type. For example, if you have a F32 model, but the target device only supports FP16, then you may need to quantize the model so it can run on the target device. Tools like Olive may help you quantize the model and optimize it for a specific kind of devices. For now, the pull request for NPU support is not merged yet. Because GitHub CI doesn't support NPU, it's harder to be covered by tests. If you want to try it, please check out the pull request 8756. This is an image classification example. It's a quite a simple use case. It doesn't require too many steps, but it still needs some pre-processing and post-processing. Let's take a look at the example. Firstly, we load a model from a file. The mobile net not onyx. Then we create an execution context. And then we read the image from a file and convert it to the test data. The image is this one. It's a cat from ImageNet. We pre-process the data, normalize it based on model's requirements, which is how the model is trained. We use set input to set the input tensor and then run the inference with the compute. We use get output to get the results. The results are IDs and their probabilities. The ID is not human friendly, so we need this file, which contains IDs and the labels. It let us know. Uh, what does this ID mean? After the post processing the data, we print the top five results. Let's run the example. The top one is tabby cat. The probability is uh, more than 96%. We then change the target device from GPU to CPU. We recompile the example and run it again. The probabilities might be slightly different from the previous one because we changed the target device, but the top result is still tabby cat. There are still a lot of things can be improved. Currently, Rasta's F16 support is still experimental. So the internal buffer type of FP16 tensor is F32. This is not efficient, but it can be resolved as soon as Rust F16 support is stable. Another limitation is limited data type and kernel support. Developers still need to understand their target devices first. So the model can be optimized for better performance and low power consumption. Feel free to contact us or open new issue if you have any questions. Thank you.